Please don't be dead. Wake up. You've got to help me, Tom. This is a basilisk. It won't come until it's called. Give me my wand, Tom. You won't be needing it. Listen, we've got to go. We've got to save her. I'm afraid I can't do that, Harry. You see, as poor Ginny grows weaker, I grow stronger. Yes, Harry. It was Ginny Weasley who opened the Chamber of Secrets. No, she couldn't. She wouldn't. It was Ginny who set the basilisk on the mudbloods and Filch's cat. Ginny who wrote the threatening messages on the walls. But why? Because I told her to. You'll find I can be very persuasive. Not that she knew what she was doing. She was, shall we say, in a kind of trance. Still, the power of the diary began to scare her. And she tried to dispose of it in the girls' bathroom. And then, who should find it but you? The very person I was most anxious to meet. And why did you want to meet me? I knew I had to talk to you. Meet you if I could. So I decided to show you my capture of that brainless oaf, Hagrid, to gain your trust. Hagrid's my friend! And you framed him, didn't you? It was my word against Hagrid's. Only Dumbledore seemed to think he was innocent. I bet Dumbledore saw right through you. He certainly kept an annoyingly close watch on me after that. I knew it wouldn't be safe to open the chamber again while I was still at school, so I decided to leave behind a diary, preserving my 16-year-old self in its pages so that one day I would be able to lead another to finish Salazar Slytherin's noble work. Well, you haven't finished it this time. In a few hours, the Mandrake draft will be ready, and everyone who is petrified will be all right again. Haven't I told you? Killing mudbloods doesn't matter to me anymore. For many months now, my new target has been you. How is it that a baby with no extraordinary magical talent was able to defeat the greatest wizard of all time? How did you escape with nothing but a scar while Lord Voldemort's powers were destroyed? Why do you care how I escaped? Voldemort was after your time. Voldemort is my past present and future. I was going to keep my filthy muggle father's name. No. I fashioned myself a new name. A name I knew wizards everywhere would one day fear to speak when I became the greatest sorcerer in the world. Albus Dumbledore is the greatest sorcerer in the world. Dumbledore's been driven out of this castle by the mere memory of me. He'll never be gone. Not as long as those who remain are loyal to him. So this is what Dumbledore sends his great defender. A songbird and an old hat. Let's match the power of Lord Voldemort, heir of Salazar Slytherin, against the famous Harry Potter.